Hey everyone, welcome back to the Edgewater series. Welcome to episode two. I have a new microphone. Let me know how you guys like the audio here. I've been playing around with it for the better part of two hours. I think I've got it, but if I don't, let me know. I think it should be okay. Um, anyway, uh, just to bring you guys back up to speed here with where we are, we're in the back rooms of Clever Motors here. We just uh, finished talking with the general manager here. And he's agreed to let us take care of the snow clearing and the uh, general maintenance of the shop over the course of the winter. Because there's no farming and because what I do is a lot of contract work right now, seeing how I don't have my own land, he's agreed to, to let me do the snow clearing and take care of the yard just in general for a small fee, of course. Um, hopefully it's enough that we'll keep our, our head above water through the winter. And if we take a look at the bank balance here, you can see we've gone up $500. That's because I sold back the two of the three totes of herbicide that we had before. Of course, I had to sell them back at a reduced rate. They go for $2,400 in the shop. I can only sell them for $2,000. But it was enough to cover this month's rent, which was $3,500. So that gave me a surplus of $500. Plus, now we're on the Clever Motors payroll. So hopefully things improve for us and if you look out the door here uh, I don't want to leave yet there's still paperwork to be signed but if you take a peek right in front of us there's a couple brand new John Deere's just came onto the lot so maybe we might be able to pick one of those up for an absolute steal we'll see I gotta go back and talk to Mark and I'll meet you guys back at home so Talk to the dealership. They're going to bring in a plow and a spreader for me so that I can use my gator for this. I've had to take the box off and first thing we're going to go do is we're going to go run down to the dealership, pick up these new parts. Get all this loaded up. Load salt's going to be kind of fun, but I think we're just going to he-man it on board. Hopefully this doesn't take my bumper off the front. Okay, it stays. That's good. Well, that's pretty handy. I like that. that I wouldn't have the approach angle with that plow. But no worries. Gator can do anything. And back home we go to wait for snow. I did not do a good job putting that salt on. Man, do I want that 9R. Alright, so what kind of goals do you think I should have for this series? Should I be going for a specific tractor? Should I be going for a specific amount of land? Uh, what do you guys want to see out of this? Right now, I'm just... I'm just kind of playing this to play this. We're doing the role play aspect of it. So we're trying to keep most realism as we can. Uh, speaking of which, I guess we should probably go over the bonds that we're using, uh, considering there is quite a few of them. So we'll do that once we, uh, once we get home. If I can keep this thing on the road.
All right, welcome to all of the mods. So up at the top, you can see the DLC that I'm currently running for this. You can see all the mods. Um, everything, I think, with the exception of the Silverado, is off the Mod Hub. So I'm not going to go through everything. If you guys want to just stop and pause and take a second to see everything that's on here. Uh, I am obviously a little biased towards one certain agricultural company over the others. Probably take three guesses that I'm biased towards John Deere and you'd probably be correct. Um, but I do have a couple of the other brands in here too. Like I've got a couple of her styles, got a couple of cases in here, um, there's some JCB. There's some of the Europeans in here too. So there's, there's a little bit of everything in here, but there's the mods list. Um, and then oh, of course now we have a save. Uh, we're also working with the extended loan system, precision farming, and fuel calculator as well. Uh, oh, and um, course play. Wow, that was hard for me to remember for some reason. So, yeah. Got a little bit of everything going. You can also notice that I have cleaned all of my equipment and moved it all since the last episode little bit of yard maintenance um, not terribly impressed with the layout of everything in this place but we'll try and make do with what we have and like I say we're down to just the one box of herbicide couldn't return that because it's we jump into it we've only got a thousand liters left they wouldn't take it if it's a, a half jug or a half crate We'll jump ahead and we'll see you in a month. And welcome to December in the Prairies. We got a ton of snow overnight, so we're going to head over to Clever. If we can even get out. Um, the equipment back here is just having a fit. Alright. Oh! Thankfully, the gator starts right up. And we're moving around not too bad, actually. Not too bad. I'm going to have to get a yard light or something, though. You know what? I just know it have to plow the driveway first. I just stuck to my truck. get out of this. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. Nope. Wrong button. 
There we go. We're just putting some salt down in the parking lot here, just trying to make sure that everybody can get in and out safely. Kind of touch onto the road here gently. There we go. Nobody tell Mark that I bumped the 6R. should have put the work lights on. Forgot I had these on the trailer. Also, completely thought that I had looked at the ramps already. be right back okay we're back you see we got paid 4500 for that so there's next month's rent paid plus a little extra in the bank we can keep this up if it keeps snowing that would make me a happy man and yeah I do still have the, uh, the gator running it's uh, what is it? Minus 30 out, I think it said. There's the weather. There's the weather. Minus 31. So, uh, if we don't have it running, it might not start again. Alright everybody, welcome back. It is now April. It is springtime. The birds are singing, the crows are crowing, and the snow is gone. So we can put the uh, snow equipment away for now. And we can head on down to talk to Leroy, see if he's got anything for us. I think he should have a couple of fertilizer contracts ready for us. Let's go talk to Leroy, see what he's got for us. Alright, just talk to Leroy. He's got three fields for us. He wants fertilized with just normal, everyday, solid fertilizer. He says we can use his equipment, no charge, obviously, as it's always been. And we can use his spreader. And that is one hell of a spreader. All right. Well, I'm gonna go run down, pick up the fertilizer, because that's part of the deal is I supply the fertilizer. He supplies the work and the equipment. Also be interesting, because I haven't been in here for a bit. Let's see if they've got anything new, because we're still on the lookout for some new equipment here, and I still have to go talk to the bank. Did you look at that? Alright, I'm gonna have to park this truck real quick and have to take a look at that. That looks like it might have to come home with me today. Let's 
It's got fairly fresh looking tires on it. 30. It is nice that it's got a three point on the front and the back. That's not something you usually see over here in Western Canada is a three point on a, an older tractor. Well, I might have to go talk to Mark and see if we can make ourselves a deal on that. Five grand, just shy of. Still have about seven hundred liters of fertilizer. Not doing too good. Not doing too bad on all that. Go down, and talk to the dealership, see what they'll finance us for. All right, so they financed us for fifty-five thousand dollars on a sixty-month term, giving us just a little over a thousand dollars a month. You can see we've got about 80000 in the bank. Let's go see what they've got. Knowing that we've got about 70000 of this that we can spend. This 8000 series, while it is a hell of a tractor, I don't know if I can justify eating up the entire budget on just the tractor, because I'm still going to need, uh, depending on what we get into, I think... Easiest would be to get into mowing. 
Um, I'm going to need some kind of a mower, a baler, some kind of wind rower of some sort. Um, mower, baler, wind rower, maybe a tether, maybe a wrapper if I wanted to get into silage. So I think, I think we're going to go with this 4440. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't see these anywhere out on the lot. What do we what do we have here? Seven meter cut, six point two. Well, these two will cut more than the bat wing in there. Honestly, I'm just gonna see if they can throw these things in. If I buy the tractor and I buy these two, see if they make me a deal. I didn't see this out there either. Let's see see if we can see if we can make a deal. Let's see if we can go find this stuff. Couple of old mowers. Old wind rower. I think it would be over here. Is it maybe around back? Well, he isn't in a round back here. There's, there's no way that it's up front here. What about around the side here? Yeah, here it is, sitting next to the guard. Oh yeah, they've, they've got to throw this in. They have to. I mean, they've got to, right? I'll go talk to them. All right, there it is in the top right, 10,500. We made a deal. That is owned by me. I also thought they were going to throw in a full tank of diesel, but okay. No, 65 liters, you know what? That'll get me home. Um... Speaking of getting home, I'm going to have to come back with the trailer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. New tractor. Home. I still can't believe we got such a steal on this equipment. That's going to be so good. This rickety old thing off. Grab it. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we are going to use our debt to pay off our debt. There. So now on this skid steer, we own the pallet forks. Pallet forks, we own skid steer, bucket. Gator's got spraying winter equipment. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Need some method of picking up what we've cut now. But I think that's going to do it for us this episode. I think we're going to look at a baler for next episode. Until then, I am super excited. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Remember to subscribe, like this video if you did, and tell your friends about it. 
is watching you.